I cannot express to you the appreciation and of how we were supported from this school, this community, Springfield and Whole. Um, we are very blessed. That was Georgia Marshall, mother to Grayson, McKinley, and Joshua Lambert. All three would pass away on September 15, 2012, due to a plane crash. Grayson and McKinley attended Glendale High School, as Joshua went to Sequoia Elementary. Grayson being part of Glendale's debate and soccer team, the members and their coach, Mr. Rogers, decided to create a simple but effective saying in their memory. It's a family thing. How it's a family thing got started was from Grayson. He left soccer practice the night before and Coach Rogers, um, they kind of had a little banter back and forth and Gray was gonna miss um, practice the next day on Friday. Grayson came up to me and he said, hey coach, I won't be at practice tomorrow um, because I'm headed out of town uh, with my parents and my family. And so I just said, well, what do you got going on? And he said, we're going to go to a, a Kansas City Royals game. And I jokingly said, who would want to watch the Royals, you know, play? And he laughed and said, it's a family thing. So that's where it's a family thing comes from. That's the last thing he said to Coach Rogers before he left. They were great kids. Um, Grayson was just, Grayson was just really a friend to all. He was so well, I'm biased, but he's very handsome, and he was so intelligent and smart and kind. He just was a kind soul. He um, loved very hard, and he was loyal, a good friend, fantastic son, and um, he just was really the all-American boy, and I was so proud of him. He was slated to be one of the valedictorians, and um, just... I, I sound like I'm bragging because I am, because he was just every mother's dream as a son. What jumps out to me um, when I talk about Grayson is he was just probably just the ultimate uh, teammate. Uh, so he was in our program as a freshman and a sophomore on the JV, and then his, or his junior year, he was on our varsity. Um, but he was out there uh, for the love of the game, and probably more for the love of his teammates. And McKinley was very bright and bubbly and very spirited, and she had this laughter that was infectious. And um, just the social butterfly, very kind and smart too. Not so much in the way of her brother, she wasn't in his shadow, but she was just a friend to all. McKinley, a volleyball and basketball player for Glendale, as well as an honor student, Going by the nickname Mick, Mick had open heart surgery in 2010 and was recognized by the American Heart Association for the brave girl she was. I heard so many stories of how people knew McKinley just from volleyball tournaments or, you know, just her laughter really was the main thing. Her headstone on, at the cemetery states brighter than the sun and she was brighter than the sun. Um, Grayson's has forever a shining star, and that was true, because he was just all that. I don't even know how to say that. And Joshua was just full of energy and happy, and he danced all the time, and he was just joyous. Um, and just happiness surrounded Joshua. Joshua, a Boy Scout at Sequoia Elementary, loved basketball and anything with numbers. Joshua, or what others called him, Biggs, was a caring, funny, and kind young gentleman who would never pass up a time to sing or dance. So really the three of them as brothers and sisters, um, it was just wonderful. Um, and then I have another daughter, Tyler, and you know, she is in awe of the three of them. When this happened, it was a unity and just the camaraderie, I, you don't know what to expect. You don't ever think you're going to be in that situation. But honestly, I don't have enough words to thank Glendale and the whole community that came together as a family. We had hundreds um, the day that 
you know, the morning after it happened. We had literally hundreds of children. I say children, but they're young adults in our home. And they just camped there. Um, I can't, you know, the, the nuclear group of each um, one of my kids were there in full force. But people would just... I mean, it was just amazing to me how they would say, I knew your son from, you know, church or McKinley from here or Joshua, you know, from school or whatever. And we never met these people, but it was like their love for each other, their love for life and their laughter, like I said, and their happiness. They were just good kids. It was infectious. It just spilled over a couple of weeks straight. You know, you don't know what you're going to do. Your mind just kind of is out there. And I wore my son's soccer um, sweatshirt with Lambert on the back. And I would have people stop me. I mean, total strangers would just hug me. And I'm just like, you know, you don't know what to do, but nobody, you don't know what to do in that situation. So they want to try to make you feel better. And it was just truly amazing. Um, their memorial was broadcast worldwide. We had people from literally all over the world contact us that they had watched the memorial service and you know like i said you know when you're going through it you don't know the ins and outs of everything but then months later you're like somebody from france contacted us i'm so sorry i cried i wasn't going to i really pumped myself up this morning i wasn't going to do it doggone it too, so. i apologize you can compartmentalize it and you build this wall up and even though it's been 10 years, then when it gets, somebody gets real close, that's when it just kind of floods it. all out. Yeah. But I hope people truly get the meaning of what, you know, Flock is family yeah. is.